This is the eighth class in Perakakainis, which is a Mesechas Bavakama and Dafnon Vava Maraf. Let's begin. So in the previous Gemara we said that the reason the Brisa teaches that there are only four cases where a person is Pater Bedine Adam and Chayev Bedine Shamayim, even though we presented another five cases where a person is Pater Bedine Adam and Chayev Bedine Shamayim, is because in the four cases of the Brisa, if not for the Brisa telling us that the person is Pater Bedini Adam and Chayev Bedini Shemayim, we would think that he's Pater Bedini Adam and Pater Bedini Shemayim. And therefore, only those four cases are taught. So now the Gemara is going to go on to explain why by those four cases, and we're going to go through each one, would we think that the person should be Pater Bedini Adam and Pater Bedini Shemayim. And therefore, it's in a purple arrow pointing upwards, because it is a, it's, it's coming from this that we mentioned, that in those four cases, we would say the person's Pater B'dini Adam and Pater B'dini Shemayim, so now the Gemara is explaining why we would say that. So let's see it now inside. Ha-Pirates gather b'fnei behemes chavere, that's the first of the four cases, one who breaks the fen, a fence in front of his fellow's animal, and the animal escaped and was lost, so we said the person is Pater B'dini Adam for the loss of the animal, but Chayev B'dini Shemayim. So why do, what, why would we think that he's also Pater B'dini Shemayim, not only B'dini Adam? So like we explained, this is referring to a weak wall, a Kaisal Re'ua. So says the Gemara, Ma'u de Tema, what would we say? Kaven de la Mystere Kai, since it is, it's waiting to be broken down, since it's a weak wall, it's a danger. Therefore, Ma'avid, what did the person do? He didn't do anything, he even did a service. He was helping the owner, he was helping the public by removing a danger. So therefore, Ma'avid, what did he do? And Bedini Shemayim, and even Bedini Shemayim, Nami also, Loi Lechayev, he shouldn't be Chayev. Kamash Lona comes to teach us that he is Chayev. And the reason is because he should have warned the owner that he's breaking the wall, and the owner should take take guard and take uh, take take caution over his animals that they should be um, safeguarded. Move on to the second case. Ha'kaifif Kamasei Shel Chaveirei, Nami, one who bends the grain of his fellow also there, we wouldn't know that he's Chayev B'dini Shemayim, because Ma'od Edema, what would we say? Lema, let him say, because we have said it's referring to a case that he bent the, his fellow's grain, the fire wasn't able to reach it, but since it came out of the ordinary wind, the fire was unable to reach the grain. So Lema, let him say, Mi Hava Yadaina, did I know the Asir Ruach She'ena Matsuya, that there would come a wind that's out of the ordinary? I didn't know that would happen. I'm not expected to anticipate that. Over Dinish and in Dinish Nami also Leil Chayv. He shouldn't be Chayv. Kamash when it comes to teach us that he is Chayv with Dinish because his actions caused his friend to lose the to lose the grain. And we explained that in the case of the grain, there's another interpretation from Ravashi that it's not that he bent the grains and then out of the ordinary wind came and caused the fire to to burn the grain, but rather that he covered the grain. And by doing that, he made that the grain is tom and covered, and a person is not chayev if his fire burns down something which is hidden. And as a result of him covering the grain, he caused that the person is not going to be paid by the one who lit the fire. That was the answer of Rav Ashi. So says the Gemara, Ula Rav Ashi, and according to Rav Ashi, the Omar that said, the Omar that he said, Nami tom and itmar, that we're talking about a case that he covered the grain and he made it Tamun hidden. So Mao what would he, what would we say that I know Kisui Kisisi Nahalach? I covered it for you. Maybe this individual could say, I covered the grain for you to protect you. Over Dinishamayim and by Dinishamayim Nami also Lil Chaiv, he shouldn't be Chaiv. He was trying to help his fellow. He covered the grain when he saw that the fire was approaching. Kamash Wana comes to teach us that he is Chaiv because as a result of his actions, he caused that his fellow shouldn't be paid for his grain being burnt. Vasecher Edi Sheker, Nami, and the one who rented false witnesses, also there. We need to say that the person is Chayev B'dini Shemayim. Why do we need to say it? Because Ma'od him, what would we say? Lema, let the, let the one who hired the false witnesses, let him say, Divrei Arav, when you have the words of the teacher, V'divrei Atamid, in the words of the student, which corresponds, the teacher represents, the, corresponds to Hashem, to the Torah. And the, the students correspond to him hiring the, the witnesses. So the witnesses, Divri Arab, they have the words of Hashem of the Torah, and they have the words of the student, which is this individual who hired them. Divri Mishemim, whose words should one listen to? Of course, to the Rav. Of course, this person should listen to the Torah, should listen, should listen to Hashem. 
and therefore v'dini shemayim and in the dini shemayim nami also leilachayiv he shouldn't be chayiv since he doesn't expect the witnesses to listen to him and they shouldn't have listened to him kamash when it comes to teach us that he is chayiv since he participated in it and now the fourth and final case why would we think that over there the person is not chayiv v'dini shemayim v'yedeya edes lachaveri one who knows testimony for his fellow v'ene meid lo and he doesn't testify for him nami also there we wouldn't know that is chayiv v'dini shemayim why not ma'od itaim what would we say me Yemar, who says the Chihava Asino Mesahadino lay? Who said if I would have came and testified for, for him, Hava Maide would have admitted? What are we saying? We're saying that he had testimony as one individual, that person A owes person B money. Now, how would his testimony help if he's only one person? It would help because if a person has the testimony of one person, it obligates person A to swear that he doesn't owe the money. Now, since person A is lying, since he has the true testimony, if person A is, is lying and doesn't want to swear falsely in court, since it's a very severe avera, he's going to have to pay. He says, I don't want to swear. If you don't want to swear, he has to pay. So he says, who said that if I would have came and testified, he would have admitted Dilma have a or maybe he would have sworn falsely. So not necessarily would my aidus, with my testimony, lead to the person B getting paid back. So I shouldn't have to pay him even B'dini Shemayim. And also, when it comes to teach us that he is chayev, because it is possible and maybe even probable that person A will avoid swearing since he's put in a situation that he's obligated to swear and it's a false swearing. And therefore, he's chayev even b'dini shemaim. So the whole Gemara basically is we have over here, it's all in purple. And what we have in our Gemara is. We went through each of the four cases and explained why in each of these cases we would think that the person is not chayiv bedini adam and bedini shemayim. And therefore it's necessary in those cases for the b'risa to tell us that the person is chayiv bedini shemayim. And that's what the b'risa is coming to say. That in these cases where you would think that a person is not chayiv bedini shemayim, he is.